Hey everyone, I'm Jordan Spivey, joined with my dad, Chavis Spivey, and if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of our awesome science videos. In today's video, we will talk about ecological succession and the differences between primary and secondary succession. So let's do this! Our learner targets for today are number one, I can explain how ecological succession occurs, and number two, I can explain the differences between primary and secondary succession. The ecosystems of Earth are constantly changing. A tree falling in a forest affects the forest ecosystem. Elephants walking and creating new paths in tropical savanna affects the savanna ecosystem. A fire or tornado might alter the forest habitat so much that some species cannot survive and die off while others are able to thrive in the same environment. Changes in ecosystems causes one community to replace another community. The process of one community replacing another as a result of changing abiotic and biotic factors is called ecological succession. Let's break the words ecological succession down. The word ecological refers to the relationship between two or more living organisms and how they interact with their physical environment. For example, humans polluting the waters that turtles, fish, and other animals depend upon for survival. The second word succession means to be replaced over time. So when we put them two together, ecological succession means that there are changes in a specific area or environment that causes one community of organisms to replace another community of organisms over time. The process usually takes many years to occur. There are two types of ecological succession, which are primary and secondary succession. Let's dive into primary succession first. Primary succession is the establishment of a community in the area of bare rock that does not have any topsoil. Topsoil, also known as fertile soil, is soil that contains nutrients in it which enables plants and trees to grow. So how is topsoil made from bare rock? That's a great question. First, lichen and mosses begin to grow on the rock. Since lichen and mosses are the first organisms to appear, they are called pioneer species. These two pioneer species secret acids that help break down rocks. When the lichens and mosses die, their decaying organic material is mixed with the small pieces of rock. This is the first stage of soil development. Small weedy plants begin to grow in the soil. When these plants die, they add more nutrients to the soil. Seeds brought by animals, water, and wind soon begin to grow in the soil. Eventually, there's enough soil form that can now support shrubs and trees. At this point, insects, small birds, and small animals begin to move in as well. As the shrubs and trees grow larger and larger, more and more organisms enter the area. It may take hundreds of years for the ecosystem to continue to grow and become balanced and achieve equilibrium. When the ecosystem is in equilibrium, there is no net change in the number of species. This means that there is no large amount of species coming into the ecosystem, nor a large amount of species exiting the ecosystem as well. New species come into the community at about the same rate that others leave the community. The ecosystem is now in homeostasis, balance, or equilibrium. This is a climax community, a stable, mature community in which there is little change in the number of species. A climax community is better able to withstand changes in the community without it having a massive impact on the organisms that live in that community. The other type of succession is secondary succession. This occurs in areas that have been disrupted. The causes of these disturbances may be natural or human-made. Secondary succession may occur as a result of tornadoes, fires, windstorms, floods, deforestation, soil leaching, and other disruptive factors. The conditions that result in secondary succession are usually harsh. For example, if land has been used for agriculture for many years, the soil may be depleted of many important nutrients. This happens as a result of soil leaching. When secondary succession occurs, communities are usually reintroduced to the ecosystem more quickly than they are during primary succession. Plant and animal communities already existed before the disturbance that leads to secondary succession. Therefore, the soil is often richer than in areas where primary succession occurs. Also, some species may remain in the region after the disturbance. Imagine a forest that has been harvested for timber. Once the timber is cut, the climax species no longer exists and secondary succession begins. Some plant species such as weeds might still live in the disturbed area these plants are quick to reestablish themselves. Cones or seeds may also remain on the ground or in the soil. After the disturbance, if soil conditions are right, these cones and seeds can germinate and start new plant communities. The process of primary succession can take hundreds, if not thousands of years. In contrast, 
The process of secondary succession can re-establish an ecosystem's climatic communities in as few as 50 years. The ecosystem's animal populations are established more quickly during secondary succession. Animals are largely dependent on plants for food and shelter. As more complex plant populations are reintroduced into the ecosystem, the ecosystem can support more complex animal populations. And that's our video for today. Now let's test your knowledge to see how proficient you are with explaining the differences between primary and secondary succession by taking our video quiz. Use your electronic device to scan the QR code at the bottom right of the screen or you can click the link in the description box below the video to take the quiz. Remember, 80% or higher for proficiency, record your results on your proficiency sheet, and if you don't get it the first time, you better keep going because it's not over until you win. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also click the bell icon if you're missing on any of our awesome videos. Peace and have a positive, productive day. Hello, Peter.